plays games with Steve and Angel. I'm almost like I, I'm curious if like you could play this with the classic. Oh God! Oh oh! What are you doing? It's fine. We're starting. Uh, <laughs> the court is now in session for the trial of Ms. Maya Faye. I'm just very excited. Yeah. I'm sorry. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Is this okay? <laughs> what? No, we're good. It's fine. All right. You just you just missed an establishing shot. You, who works in animation, should know. <laughs> You need one. No. Wow, write a video essay about me. I will. The a Angel did what? Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> the defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. Better not show any signs of weakness today. I'll be on me in an instant. Oh, you wish. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Ms. Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder and we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin then. You may call your first witness. The prosecu- uh, what, Did that say Edgeworth? I'm not sure. Anyway, the prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir, uh, my name's Dick Gumshoe, sir. Well, I'm the detective in charge of homicides under the precinct, sir. Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map of the office to explain. The body was found by this window here. And the cause of death? Loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of the Thinker found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's head, sir. That's sexist. Wow. The court accepts the statue as evidence, but not the sexist part. <laughs> girls can murder, too. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it was, yeah, it was like the, the girl could have murdered her, even if, he, if she hit her, like, eh. <laughs> it still would have hurt a lot. Uh -oh. They're still calling it a statue. Don't these jokers know what's a clock? <laughs> Idiots. Now, detective. Y yes, sir. You immediately arrested Ms. Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I had hard evidence she did it, sir. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe, please testify to the court about this hard evidence. You want to know about my hard evidence, Angel? As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Ms. Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Ms. Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Ms. Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. Hmm. The very moment, you say? Very well, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examine what? These nuts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh. Smack! Hey, Maya just threw something at me. What's this? Who throws a note, honestly? <laughs> When my sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness testimony in witness's testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness also uh, the witness always slips up and says something wrong. It worked lots of times. <laughs> Should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. All right. Let's give this a try. Oh, you know, tricks that every lawyer should yeah. do. Something that matter. No, Your Honor. I'd like to begin my cross-examination. Love triangle. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as the phone call came in, I rushed into the scene. Hold it! Hold oh, it! That was really oh, fun. Hold it! That sounds so great coming from the Wii mode. <laughs> Who did you say you got a call from? Oh, wait, you're saying it now, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, pal, don't play dumb. You know who. The call was from a customer at the Gatewater Hotel, right across from the crime scene. Hmm. Okay, I press. 
Not sure it did much, though. Right. Please continue. Me. That's me. There were two people there already. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, how long would you say it took between you receiving the call and your arrival at the scene of the crime? I'm curious. Does the hold it not go in the game audio then? Yeah, I think it's because uh, I'm not hearing it from there. I'm only hearing from the Wemo. Whoa, let me see I wonder if that's something. A, is it supposed that is it supposed to? I'm sure there's an option because mm -hmm. let me because yeah, yeah, you guys can't hear it on the mic. Yeah. Uh, Steve, Google it real quick while oh, I okay. uh, see if there's an option. Unless I can hear like a really option bubble. option. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just because you guys should should hear it if if it's an option. Also, how do you maybe Jay there, cut this out? Is... Yeah, we'll pause for a second. Pause the timer. Mm, right, I'd say it was about three minutes. That's pretty fast. Our motto this month is quick response. <laughs> we're not going to be so fast next month. That's how I got there before the... Next time I... Uh, relaxed response. That's how I got there before the killer got away. I don't have to meet my quota yet. Indeed. <laughs> so, tell us who the two people you found on the scene were. Yes, sir. The defendant, Miss Maya Faye, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Hold it! Yeah, it does come out. Oh, it is on... Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Are you absolutely sure it was us? Listen, pal, your dumb act will only get you so far. With her funky hippie clothes and your spiky hair, you two stand out like, uh, like suspicious people at a crime scene. Well, he does have a point about her. Wow. She is pretty unmistakable. Rude. <laughs> I should pick my points to press with a little more care. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Faye. Hold, Hold it! Did you really? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Why is that? What's your reason? Oh. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I, I mean, you don't have to press every single statement because yeah. a lot of them are just like, eh, you know. Why? Why did you do that? Why? 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 <laughs> Would you stop saying why, pal? <laughs> like, why? <laughs> Hold it. Hold on, just one second. Oh, this music stopped. Yeah. If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Huh? Did, did did I say that? Me? I heard you say it! You did say it. You said it. <laughs> exactly what about the suspicious woman in Pink's claim was hard evidence? W what? Miss May isn't suspicious, and she sure isn't Pink, pal! W well, I, I guess she is Pink. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Um, uh... Hmm. Yes, Preston can have its advantages. Yes. Gah! Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. There was something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. Again. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Lab test results show that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's na <laughs> name. Oh, How you like that? That's my hard evidence. I've seen harder. Hmm. I've had better. Before we begin cross-examination, I have a question for you, Detective. Uh, Your Honor. Why didn't you testify about this vital piece of evidence the first time? Uh, uh I know. I'm, I'm real embarrassed I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful as I drink my Diet Coke. <laughs> Very well, the defense may begin its cross-examination. Did anyone ever tell you sound a little bit like Professor Layton? Uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> very well. The events Yo, may begin its uh, cross examination. Oh, I, I believe yeah. you should, Luke. I believe you should. They're they're like cousins for yeah. sure, though. Yeah. 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 He wasn't as into top hats. Yeah. Uh, okay. The subject examined the scene with my own eyes. I like imagine the 
Spongebob scene of like Patrick and Spongebob looking at the map but like all over the crime scene. Oh, the eyes, yeah. Yeah, the eyes. <laughs> um, so, okay. Maybe we can skip around. Yeah, I would say like if there's a part you're like, oh, like I want to hear more about this. Yeah. I want to know more about this. Yeah. Unless you want to, you know, blow the, 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 ta the time to get like a full episode and I don't know. No. Angel, there's plenty no. of game left. There's pl okay. there's plenty of game and games left. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't the word Maya was written in the family, but it laughs us to show that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Um, I found a memo written on it. Did we... Did we not pick it up, or I guess he would just leave? No, it it's it's there. in there. It, no, it's, it's in the court record. Uh, okay. I don't think you... Went through all the statements, though. Um, in the previous one or this? No, one? right here. Oh, I mean, I mean, we just started. I'm, I was. Yeah, no, they're just looking. Yeah. I'm written on the piece of paper. Oh, on it, the word. I would also say, um, try to open the court record with present, and just kind of like look through stuff and kind of get like an idea, because eventually you're gonna have to probably present something. Gosh. So just being aware of like what the details are can kind of help you to mm -hmm. identify. Death was instantaneous, immediate. Oh immediately. 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 Yes. Like right now. Yes, right now. Is this a SpongeBob bit? Yes, oh is. my god. <laughs> you wanted this. Hmm. You asked this. This is just it. Here. This is just it. This lets this lets play dyna dynamic. It's a SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward. Just... Literally. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, that's very What's accurate. What's this? A SpongeBob reference? Oh my god, hurry up and press A to listen. No, never mind. Oh, you can actually... Oh. Well, I mean, it's still text, but... Oh. Uh, Mia, what... Oh, wait, no. Didn't we... We already... Yeah, we... Yeah, this is from the beginning, from the beginning, but yeah. Hey, Mia, what's up? Not much, little sis. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> sister, song? sister. I don't know. What am I doing? <laughs> uh, I leave it alone. I'm at nine. It's been a while. Um, okay. Do, 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 do the broken remains. Broken glass everywhere. Beyond the right. But what, was it underneath the body or was it around the body? Um, looks like a statue is actually a clock. Found in Miss Mayo's hotel room. That's it? Okay. That's part of this receipt with letters written in blood on the back. The murder scene. The bank of ops. So press the A button for details. Did he draw this? Um. <laughs> yeah, I, I spent three days on it. <laughs> mm hmm. In MS Paint. Wow. That's pretty hard. Without oh. a tablet? No, with a tablet. Oh, okay. That's a little less. That's some very, like, clean vector lines, too. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Mm, okay. Interesting. Why do we just always have this? Um, <laughs> you, you never know when you gotta like. That's a result of the. You know, I'll just. I just want to be curious. Sure. Hold it. What kind of tests were these again? Huh? What kind? Uh. Well. Uh, I hear they take the um little bits in the blood. The uh hemo hemoglo hemoglo hemo goblins hobgoblins. I'm goblin, blah, 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 blah. I refuse to testify on this matter, sir. I'm no expert on blood tests or words. Yes, that was quite quite clear. You may continue with your testimony. But, uh, thanks, pal. I mean, your honor, professor, sir. Detective Gumshoe. Y yeah. I think you can expect a pleasant bonus in your next paycheck. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That was a mess. Wow. Get out of the room. Right. Uh, where was I? I'm right. And I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> also, there was blood found on the finger. Hold it. On which hand was the bloody finger, detective? The right hand. Hmm. She was right-handed. <laughs> nice try. Uh-oh. I guess it wasn't too hard to see what I was getting at there. With the killer's name. Hold it! Detective Gumshoe! Do you get a lot of cases where the victim actually writes the killer's name? 
Sure, it happens all the time in books and the movies. This isn't a movie, detective. It's definitely not a game. It's a, yeah. <laughs> Best start believing in video games. <laughs> yeah, right. You're in one. <laughs> Didn't I do that on a Let's Play episode? I might recent? have. I, I yeah. know I just like quoted that damn thing again yeah. last night. So. Oof. Let's talk about reality, shall we? I mean, uh, this is reality. This isn't a, 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 a stupid made-up world where, 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 where murder victims write the killer's names. I mean, this is a real world I with get... spirits and, <laughs> and, burgers. and spiky hair. Wow, you got a lot to say. Uh, I guess I haven't heard of many cases, no. Are we not real? <laughs> Don't you find it a little odd that the victim would write down a name? Especially the name of her own sister? I mean, I'm a detective named Dick Gumshoe. Of course I'm not real. Uh, yeah, actually, you got a point, pal. Objection! Stop right there. <laughs> the witness's opinion on the matter is irrelevant. The facts are clear. The victim wrote down the name of the accused. The victim told us the name of her killer. Are we real? Rubble, 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 rubble. Order! Order! We are real, okay? <laughs> that didn't go so well. Someone's watching a Let's Play of our life right now as we're making jokes about... Uh, anyway, it's, it's oh, gonna be very meta. Uh, that's right! What he said! Someone keeps spamming the Spongebob quote button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course you die. The victim wrote the killer's name. Um, you just pressed that one, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, no problem. Anything uh, stick out to you? Mmm... You can always look through the court record again. Yeah, lab test shows the... Oh, no, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Um... Armstrong's written in blood on the back. It's just written on the back. It was... Armstrong's written on the back. I'm going to press the A button for details. Oh, okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the phrasing of said things. I don't know what the word. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. Okay, it doesn't say anything about its orientation. Mm -hmm. After securing the subject, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. But how good is your vision? <laughs> they how many doing a fingers vision am test. I holding up? <laughs> I read an E. To an e. Uh, <laughs> hold it. Did you find any evidence? Now, now, don't jump the gun on me, pal. Just listen. I'm getting to the good part. Got a bad feeling about this. Ooh. Written on the piece of paper next to the victim's body. On the word my was written clearly in blood. Let's just show that it was blood of was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Before she Oh, it was instant. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. okay. Naruhodo! <laughs> Um, it's the autopsy that says that, correct? Yeah. Objection! Isn't that satisfying, Angel? It is. Detective Gumshoe! There is one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim, Mia Fey, wrote this note. That she was accusing the defendant, Maya Fey? That's really what you're saying? W what This isn't one of those lawyer tricks now, is it? Of course you wrote it. Who else could have? Mm-mm. You have it backwards, detective. But backwards? The victim is the only person who absolutely... <laughs> the victim is the Are only... Are you talking backwards? No, I'm just... <laughs> I can't tap a piece of paper and talk. It written have not could absolutely who person. No. Only the is victim the. The victim is the only person who absolutely <laughs> could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately. But... No butting your way out of this one, detective. Not this time. <laughs> Order, order. The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have the time to write anything down. Objection! Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? When? Uh... I mean, the 
day after the autopsy report. When did we get it? I forget. I forget. <laughs> um, uh, it was after. I mean, half the day after the murder. The day of the murder. I don't remember. Wait, what? When did the murder take place? Time of death. Nine of five. Uh, I'm a dead, I'm a again. uh who's the victim again? <laughs> <Does that sound? laughs> Angel, you don't remember. They just say I forget. Yeah. You could be. You could, yeah, you could. You just, could, just. You go. could tell it to Edgeworth straight. Um, I forget. I'm sorry. I forgot. <laughs> ha! Forgot you say. It was the day after the murder, Your Honor, sir. I thought it was like a special moment between us. I was the one who handed it to him myself, personally. Oh, right. We took a selfie together. The uh, prosecution's point being... What's a selfie? It's 2001. Tisk tisk tisk. That autopsy report is outdated, Your Honor. What? A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object, but there is a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received these results this morning. No way! Your Honor, it's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. That is all. I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. Should have known you'd have some something up your sleeve. <laughs> Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Something you want to say? Detective's a sham. <laughs> You're a sham. I'm a sham. Uh, are there any more shams around here? Uh, you're a sham. A sh a sham wow. A sham wow. The detective's a sham. I'm a sham. Uh, this is We're all shams, yeah. <laughs> I'm a sham. You do sham. whatever you want. You're, you're a sham. Because we're all shams, yeah. <laughs> You're a, um, you know what, fuck you. Mr. Edgeworth, I've heard there's nothing you won't do to get your verdict. What reason could you possibly have had to request a second autopsy report? Mr. Wright, the defense will refrain from personal attacks on the prosecution. No matter, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, say what you will, the evidence in this report is undeniable. Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Uh, understood. The court accepts the evidence. My better autopsy. Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. <gasps> Adoy. Darn! This isn't good. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor, innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Murder, you say. Let the witness, Miss April May, take the stand. Exactly what part of her is innocent? Why are they calling her a girl? A poor little girl. I'm just a girl. <laughs> little girl. Little girl. Little girl. Little girl. Little girl. Your name, please. April May, at your service. <laughs> Oh god, jiggle the facts, oh jiggle the physics. What did you say? You gotta be louder, Steve, I can't actually oh, hear you. Oh, I said, oh, oh jiggle physics. Ah, oh. uh, okay. Um, Order and introduction should not require any reaction to the jiggle physics from the crowd. The witness will refrain from wanton winking. That is not the right spelling of that. <laughs> I've never heard that phrase before. Wanton, W-A-N-T-O-N. Okay, because yeah, that's how I would have spelled it. Yeah. Like, hey, none of this wanton winking, okay? Mm. Or any spare rib, no, spare rib me, you're, you're winking here. Uh, chicken and broccoli, I don't know. Food puns. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, yes, your honor. This is not good. She's already captured the heart of every man in the court. Tell us, where were you on the night of September 5th when the murder occurred? Um, gee, I was, like, in my hotel room. See? Maybe I should go a little, a little more Valley Girl? You can go more Valley Girl and, uh, you know, just really play into it. She's yeah. very, yeah, go for it. Very cutesy. Yeah. I you checked. know, you know, like, yeah, you know, you can get it. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, go for it. I checked in right after lunch. And this hotel is directly across from the Fay & Co. Law Offices? Mmm, that's right, big boy. 
please testify to the court about what you saw. And can you call me big boy? Mm, no. <laughs> You're a small boy. A small little boy. I kind of like that too. <laughs> oh. I'm not, I'm not gonna talk to you. <laughs> I don't wanna talk to you. It was like nine at night. I looked out the window, you know. And then, ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was that mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. But that girl, she caught up to her and, and she hit her. Ooh, ooh. ooh. Then the woman with the long hair, she kind of slumped. The end, that's all I saw. Every little bitsy witsy. <laughs> hmm. Well, Your Honor, I see. It is a remarkably solid testimony. I don't see a need to trouble the witness any... Wait, Your Honor! Yes, Mr. Wright? What about my cross-examination? I thought the witness's testimony just now was quite firm, didn't you? Oh my god. Mr. Wright, I understand you were Miss Mia Fey's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults in perfectly good testimonies. Hey, how dare you? Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? Uh, yeah. No. I'll gladly proceed with the cross-examination. Should have gotten the state lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> if only because I have a feeling Edgeworth doesn't want me to. She has to have some weaknesses. He doesn't want me to do she it. I'm going to do it weaknesses. harder. Very well, you may begin your cross-examination. It was like 9 a.m. at night. Or 9 p.m. Yeah, 9 a.m. Um, 9 p.m. Hold it! Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Huh? Why? Like, why what? Why did you look out the window? Were you expecting to see something? Oh, well, um, gee. What? That's it? She can't get out of this question that easily. I sort of... You know, <laughs> I had a feeling. Well, I have a, I have a feeling she's trying to avoid the that question. Tonight's going to be a good night. <laughs> that <t> <laughs> it's going to be a good, good night. night. Maybe, I press, maybe I should press a little harder on this one. Mm, yeah, let's go for go it. Go for it. Just go for it. <laughs> let's see how far I can run with this. Surely you must have had a reason to look out your window at the time of night. Can I talk about what that my quoting of that is from? No, but I remember it from uh, Virtue's Last Reward a bunch. Just go for it is Beautiful Joe. Have you ever played Beautiful Joe? Oh, Either very little of it. Maybe you mentioned it. The yeah. starting screen is like, just go for it. Anyway. That's cute. Okay. I do own it, but I've been playing it's it. Good. I... <laughs> Objection! Mr. Wright, I will not have you badgering my witness. Badgering? Badger, 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 badger. <laughs> mushroom, mushroom. You insist on needling her with these trivial questions. Oh, I thought we were playing Phoenix Wright, not Phoenix Wrong. <laughs> uh, is that actually a bit in Phoenix Wrong? I don't think so. But I don't it's know what. Very of that era. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Or, you know. Is that like a video or something? Phoenix Wrong? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I really don't think it should be allowed. Yeah, yeah, stop him! Badger, badger, badger! The poor girl! The poor girl. Little girl! Order! Mr. Wright, you have been warned. Do not badger little poor, Goral. Poor Goyle? <laughs> what about poor Moral? <laughs> <laughs> you looked out the window. What did you see next? Something going to be penalized for uh, pressing that? I think they're definitely trying to press you to like only do it when you need to do it, yeah. Oh, I saw a woman with a long hair being attacked. When tagging her was a mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. The woman like dodged to one side and ran away. You saw all that? Hold on. Hold it! She dodged? Dodged what? Well, the attack. Please, continue your testimony. But that girl, she caught up to her and, and she hit her. Mm. That's it. That's, um, it? that's it? Nothing really jumps out. No, 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 no. Oh, sorry. There's <laughs> got to be something in there somewhere. <laughs> I better just press her on the, on the facts a bit. I'm the inner monologue that she <laughs> hears. Oh wow! Yeah. Doing detect. We're doing case closed dub, huh? Yeah. You actually want to do it that way? 
that? No. Okay. I think I was getting too into the yeah. idea that I'm playing the video game. Yeah. Um, it was like nine and now. Um, and right. then. Ooh. Ooh, I saw. It. Ooh. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> God. The one attacking her was a mousy girl sitting in the defense chair. Hold it. How do you know she was the defendant? Huh? Well, you know, she had a girlish physique. Women know these things. Look, I just know, okay? There was only one person at the scene of the crime with a short, girlish figure. The testimony is bulletproof, Your Honor. And no, I'm not talking about you, right? <laughs> He's right. Mm, yeah. Her testimony certainly does make sense. Everyone in the court keeps siding with her. Better not press it too hard on this one. So then, tell us what happened to the victim. The woman, like, dodged, and then she used agility. And, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, double team, yeah. and, um... Sunny day, and then <laughs> she could get that, you know. Even though it was nine o'clock at night. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he kind of. That's why it was so bright, you know. That's why, you know, that, <laughs> that shot of Mia going, ah! Uh, but that girl, she caught up to her and hit her with what? Hold it! How do you know it was my client? Huh? Well, I. Gee. First of all, she had a girl's physique. And secondly, she was. She was small. Who else could it be but her? She has a point. Mm. Okay. Her testimony certainly does make sense. Everyone in the court keeps siding with her. I'm gonna press too hard on this one. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should just do the chest. So this one, um, it's you kinda have to th it's not something that's super obvious, but I guess think about what what is she saying that you go oh it's kind of like a strange do you want help oh um i think yeah i'll ask for it okay. um oh boy well if it's that then it's gonna be virtue's last reward all over again but <laughs> oh, um professor yeah um, that's my thing. <laughs> oh, okay, so then... No, 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 you can do it. I'm wait, what's... Oh, my God. It's been a minute since I played the prequels. Who's the, who's their new companion in the prequels? Uh... Who, yellow? Oh, Emmy. Emmy. Yeah. Oh, what's her voice? But that's sad. No, I don't know. Okay. Not See, Luke voice. is down here. Yeah. Boy, it's me, Luke. <laughs> you haven't even played him. I played the first one. Wow, good for you. Wow. I, I... They like puzzles. It's like, man, Night and a cock. Um, but the thinker, male autopsy report. Uh, let's see. Deborah Blubber Blunt. She had like a couple minutes of conversation. Remains of the glass light stand broken beyond all recognition. I mean, I probably couldn't have heard it. The word it looks like a statue was actually the clock. Found in the. What's this? Um, time to repeat it. She doesn't know that. The crime scene. So she could probably only see what's like in the light of the window. And wasn't her body. It was against the window? Right. So what couldn't she have seen? I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. No one's at the window, you know. I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking was a mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. And the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. Um, But that girl, she caught up to her and she hit her. That's it. You've got to do something somewhere. So the fact that he's saying um, there's no contradiction means it's actually not going to be something with your evidence in this one. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. So there's nothing to contradict, so I can't use evidence. Correct. So there's going to be some other way to progress this. 
I would have to press her on something. Like they're trying to scare me away from pressing. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, you're you're still out to press. Yeah, you should still press. And, and Phoenix even said right there, it's like I guess I need to press. It's just all the heterosexual men in this room will hate yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then ooh, I saw one man get attacked. The one nasty girl. Mm, Do you remember? Um, it kind of gave you a prompt like, uh, "Oh, do you, do you know?" More? Yeah. So try one of the. Do you remember one, which one of the like which one what it was? That one I'm struggling with. Okay. There, I know there was one near the end, but okay. I don't know that that one's relevant. The woman like dodged on one side and ran away. Mm -hmm. But that girl, she caught up to her and she hit her. Um, maybe I'll press more on this. So let's pay attention to what happened in this exchange. How here. did you know it was my client? Huh? Well, I... Uh, gee. First of all, she had a girl's physique. And secondly, she was... She was small. Who else could be but her? She has a point. She has a point. Mm, she's got a I point. I question your testimony. Hold on a minute! That testimony stands! Before you continue, do you know what about it is, seems a little off? Um... I'm thinking my theory is that, like, she can only see so much from the perspective of the window. If she's so short, how can she see her from behind uh, Mia? Right? Okay. That's my thought. Okay. Um, what? Miss May, I'm willing to bet that... Now, don't click anything yet. So, yeah, let's, let's think about this. So, um, I think that what that you said is... Is interesting, but um, I think I think the the logic band this one it, it might not be. It's a little it's a little subtle, mm -hmm. uh, but like when Phoenix met Maya, was what sort of was like? Do you remember anything about like initial reactions or anything from Maya? Or, or Phoenix or to Phoenix Maya. Phoenix to Maya. Mm -hmm. Um, Maya was there with the body crying uh-huh and then he like approached her and then she fainted okay um she's saying yeah i think maybe the the the, the what's difficult here is um what's not being said well so basically when phoenix Something about Maya is sort of uh, n noticeable at first glance. What do you do? You recall any, him mentioning anything about that? Um. Oh, the the way that she dresses is very odd. Right. Um, and so, what did April May say when they were like, "Oh, well, how do you know it was her?" She had like a small girlish figure. Right. But what's weird about that? Um. Is, she, is it because she's wearing a lot of layers um not necessarily that but like well it, it, here's here's an example angel let's say you saw someone in a full clown suit robbing a car <laughs> and then and then you, you know the police were like what did you notice they were like oh well he was average height right it's, right the, the first thing i would point out is that they were dressed weird okay so what which one makes sense here um you actually saw nothing she i mean she has the wiretap so she probably heard her cue to say something because she's too far away from the place so she probably didn't actually say anything did you really see the defendant at all <laughs> maybe she didn't mr Wright, what's the meaning of this yes what is the meaning somebody tell me because i'm clueless about this i mean okay you had really witnessed my client maya Fay. We'd have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. <laughs> <laughs> no one wears clothes like this on a daily basis, except her. She's a freak. <laughs> She's an outcast. <laughs> she doesn't have a family. <laughs> and I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. Oh my God. And that stupid necklace. <laughs> <laughs> However, the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. Really should have gotten the state-appointed lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> the testimony is bogus. But, but... Still, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. 
She was, Your Honor. I saw her. And so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? Bark! Mm. What are you trying to say, you mean lawyer? I, I saw what I saw. I just didn't think all the trifling little details were necessary, darling. Miss May, the court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. <laughs> I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl, I promise. <laughs> your testimony again, if you would. Damn, I almost had her. That's okay, Phoenix. You'll have her next time. Ooh, in that way? Uh, no. No. <laughs> Unless it's Edgeworth.